What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are installing a Tesla wall charger um, out in a home out in Colby. So we've got a Gen 2 charger which the customer has supplied. So we're going to be installing it on this pillar here. So we've just got to get our conduit run. Run in, we're gonna come across the wall Got to go underground all the way up the side of the house here. To the switchboard. So the boys, the boys are just digging at the moment, trying to find our conduit, and we'll have uh, its own enclosure at the switchboard because the switchboard's pretty full so it's going to have its own enclosure right next to it uh, with its type a rcbo and then once we uh once we get into it we'll check back in with you shortly it's casey the council worker stands and supervises while stewie's in there doing the work on the shovel Yeah, our enclosure is just going to go on the on the wall here next to the switchboard. All right, so while the boys are digging the trench, I'm going to make a start on mounting the charger in the garage. So I'll drill through the brick column, mount the faceplate. Then um, we've got some conduit to run on the external. And then we're using a six mil four core and earth orange circ. So that will run from our switchboard to our charger. All right, so our first step will be to drill through the brick wall. We're using a 25 mil SDS bit. Once we've punched through our hole, we'll be able to feed the cable through. So next we're just gonna mark out the fixing holes for the bracket. We just lined it up, kept kept, kept it center of the column. Uh, so once those holes are drilled, we're just going to add in some green plugs and then some screws. Screw the bracket in, making sure that it's level. We've used four fixings for this to make sure it stays onto the wall, nice and strong. All right, now that we've got our cable through, um, I'm going to mount the charger onto the bracket. Um, we've got to take the face plate off and we'll mount the charger onto the bracket, pull the cable through, we'll fit it off and then clip it all back up and then we'll head over to the switchboard and get that done. So we need to take, there's a Torx screw under the bottom here, we're going to take that off and then we unclip the face plate, then we've got six um, security Torx screws just on the front here, so I'm going to take them off to get to the inside. Oh, for our cable entry. That's it. And then it'll slide onto the bracket. And then we'll just pop our torque screws into the side. Alright, once our torque screws are in, from there we're going to trim our cable back to length. And then we'll strip it back and then start wiring it up. So we're gonna match our red A phase to L1, our white B phase to L2, our blue C phase to L3, and then our neutral into our neutral and our earth into earth. Then we've set the dip switches to the settings that we want. Now we'll put the face plate back on, put our six security torque screws back in the face. And then once they're in, we'll clip the faceplate back on and add the security 
torque screw back into the bottom. And that is the installation of the actual charging unit complete. done the boys have hooked up the rcbo protect it, protection um, we'll go out the back now and we will test out the charger installation for the charger is complete the boys also went inside and installed a nice chandelier over the stairs uh, for our customer uh, while I was commissioning the charger so the charger has been tested it's all ready for our customer to charge his Model X Tesla if you guys have any inquiries about electric vehicle charging solar or any ele other electrical needs um, our contact details will be below in the description all right, stay tuned for next week. We'll have some more content coming out soon, and we'll see you then. Catches!